Hey guys, it's going? This is Kellen here. I have a review today. Looking at one from Hudson Valley Brewing. Once again, this is their Babylon. Uh, it's a sour IPA coming at 6%. Um, yeah, so this one is same base they've used. It's a vanilla bean, um, lactose, milk sugar, um, blood orange, and galaxy hops. So um, my friend John was nice to pick up two four packs um, from this release. So I'll start with this guy. Um, and once again, can arts on point. Um, always like some biblical references. I think that's kind of the series you're going for, at least with their sour IPAs, it seems. Um, at least since, at least, yeah, the last one was Holy Icon and Graven Image. So I think they're all kind of like some biblical reference. A lot of them are, at least. Um, and yeah, dig it. Um, this was came out on 25th. So, I mean, yeah, we're five days old. <laughs> you know why I checked. Um, yeah, it's coming in at 6%. Um, so let's get into this. So my friend, um, I feel kind of like a dick because I never go to releases with him. Um, just kind of out of the way if you were to, you know, if I were to go with him. Um, so it, apparently it's just getting crazier every single release. Um, it's they're just blowing up. Um, yeah, and it's close enough to equilibrium to where there's like the same kind of like hype crowd that goes between the two. Um, but well deserved hype. Their beers are are very good. Um, and yeah, so I'm very excited for this one. Let's clean this out. Trying to get extra water out of there. However, um, so yeah, let's get poured out. And I think my favorite so far is actually it's in the multi chorus, which I reviewed on here, and that's the one of Cinnamon, Cardman, sorry, and um, yeah, the same base of Cardman and uh, white chocolate. So pretty interesting. Um, yeah, the Quacko kind of <laughs> again, kind of like game changing, I guess you'd say uh, IPAs. Just in, IPAs, you know, in terms of like kind of what they bring um, to the palate. So yeah, let's get into this. I'm really excited. Mm, why not put some more in there? Um, so yeah, pours out. Yeah, definitely, definitely some like fruit going in there. Um, has this kind of pinkish kind of hue, orange hue, um, kind of like a blood orange. You know, that's an obvious. Um, you know, I can I can see how that's influencing the color on it. So there's a nice pinkish kind of color. Um, but yeah, it's full on murk. Besides that, let's get an aroma. Yeah, I mean, so aromatically, I think I said one of my last reviews, um, the base, you always get the base. Um, you get that strong vanilla bean, um, a lot of lactose, kind of creamy sugarness. This one has a nice citric quality, though. Um, it does have a nice orangey kind of scent. Sometimes you don't really know, I know in the batches I've had, the other releases I've done um, that I've reviewed, you don't really notice a fruit addition until you get it on a palate, but this one's definitely citrus forward, which you would expect. <laughs> So this is actually very reminiscent of the um, Subwitch, which was a uh, grapefruit. It had that same kind of tang to it, um, just in terms of on the aroma. In, uh, on the aroma. But yeah, I mean, uh, really just smells like a blood orange creamsicle. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not like saying that's a bad thing. Like, I mean, when I said previously, I said like they all had the same smell. Um, I think the fruit editions, I think I said in one of my last reviews, I think the fruit editions in these beers steal the show. Um, besides that, there, there's a lot of similarities just because they use all the same ingredients, really, besides the hop and the fruit that's going into it. Um, at least the fruited ones. The other one that I have is cinnamon and vanilla, which is crazy. So um, that would be that might be a different story, but this one, again, something very similar um, just in terms of the base. There's like a very slight kind of nuance just with that fruit addition. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah, that's <laughs> really good. Um, ooh, this one's very tart. Again, blood orange. You should expect back that. Yep, the end is definitely some lingering kind of orange flavors on that palette. Um, the hop contribution, you know, I think orange is, Gallus is kind of a soft, or, uh, sorry, a soft hop for me in terms of what it brings to the beer. Um, so I think the citrus is kind of, the blood orange puree or whatever's going in it is kind of, kind of overpower that. Um, so yeah, like the hops only ever, if you're expect again, if you're, I think I've said this multiple times in all these reviews of their beers, if you're expecting a total hop bomb, you're not going to get it in this. The hops are very nuanced. Um, again, it is, if anything, kind of amplify the fruit that's going into it. Um, but yeah, besides that, um, yeah, like vanilla, um, nice, nice creamy body. Um, definitely some, you definitely can tell there's lactose in this.
yeah, I mean, this is really good. Again, it's just fun. Um, um, I want to go to the next release. Um, you know, just get a beer. I mean, I think I really I enjoyed every single one. Like, this is phenomenal. But I can see, again, how a critic would say um, all these beers kind of have the same kind of character to them. And that being said, I think that's completely fine because they're so well done. And again, I think it's it's really the fruits that seal the show. So if you're, you know, wanting to kind of get your vibe and to see like how many fruits you can really make amazing kind of sour IPAs out of um, and just like testing each one, this is perfect. Um, recently had a peach silhouette, which is like your 5%, essentially your 5% version of this kind of style. Um, that was spectacular. Uh, showcase of peach. Um, perfectly, and I think I think they'll notice once they do more and more. There's definitely certain fruits that can kind of show their contribution a little more um, clearly. Um, it seems to kind of go for like an odd. They do a f with these releases. They do an odd kind of like spice or um, herbal kind of uh, beer, and then there's one of fruit, a uh, straight up fruit. So the last release. Was, um, double IPA release was some passion fruit one and there was one with green tea and lime which is fucking like weird as hell and this time again there's blood orange and the next one's the other one's cinnamon um, and I'll review that as one, one as well um, I'm sure I'll love it but yeah this is spectacular I mean it's just really good um, if, again if you're a style Nazi um, so you might not like this but it's very very flavorful um, more of this like a dessert um, don't really again I mean, I'm, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you can't really expect an IPA or a sour going into this. You know, it's its own kind of um, blend of styles, I guess is a good way to say it. Um, but excellent, excellent stuff. Um, once again, Babylon. Bless up, guys. Cheers.